welding keeps me sane. You know, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me focused. So while I'm underneath that helmet, you know, it blocks off everything. Only thing you see is that fire, baby. I've been welding for about 13 years, you know. I found out about welding during the New York Times. Picked it up and uh, they said America needs 400,000 welders. It made me feel like I can help people. This is where I grew up at. This is the house that I wanted to become a welder in. Went to the weld school and they told me the same thing in this paper. So from there, I never stopped. I was made like this to weld, you know? I can go underneath cars, I can get up in the pipe, you know, tight spaces for walking beans. I'm, I'm light on my feet like a deer, you know? I'm here to weld. You know, I'm here to make companies like this not go down with the lack of welders in America. You know, it's a 99% chance that another black woman might not come in, so it's hard. Yeah. Patrice has always marched, always marched to her own drum. She is Patrice. That's it, right? That's it. But it's still a fight. It's still a fight being a black female. female. It is challenging, but she hasn't stopped. She always stood strong where she was. She was never a quitter. Never a quitter. And that's what I like too. That's what I'm very proud of. I moved down to Atlanta. My first big job was the Buckhead Martyr Bridge. My second biggest job was the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And after that, I realized that I have a bigger impact. If I can help others, I got the skill. I need to teach whoever want to change their life. So I started going out and recruiting people, teaching them and placing them where they need to be placed. Because if we don't go get them, if we don't get the new age, it's going to die out. So. I'm like the liaison from the streets to the shop. I hunt people down, I take them to their first jobs. I tell them this is how the test is going to be, let's go. Be prepared, you know, make sure you have all your PPE and everything. Make sure that Miller is burning, you feel me? Make sure your sentence is right. Practice, that's where I came to be at 2020 and teaching that to others, so. We're at a place that is very special in my heart. We're at the Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. This is a piece that I did a few years ago, River Alive. This right here is like a statement of my welding career right here. This is just a beautiful piece and I thought this would be a great piece for my mentee to see. She's really changed how I looked at welding. She showed me that it was more than just a money maker. It was a lifestyle, it was art. And so for me, that completely changed my perspective of how I look at things. And so that changed my confidence, that changed how proud I am of myself. I love to do what Patrice does, the fact that she gets to travel all over and then she gets to do what she loves as well. It's just, it's amazing to me. I want the younger generation to have guidance from the emotional standpoint of welding to the technicalities of welding. I still have a lot to, you know, to run and I have a lot to, of souls to wear out. So um, I think I'm doing a little something good, you know? So 